Aloha, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis, this is the Ascension Diaries, where I watch my own and everyone else's consciousness shift as I use this public data about space weather from the sun and from the earth. So let's get into today's update. So as you can see here, there's a wave coming out of the sun here on the predictive model towards the Mars-Venus-Mercury cluster, as well as the OSIRIS apex uh, satellite, which is interesting because OSIRIS keeps coming up. So heads up on that just synchronistically and we'll continue into more of that evidence. And very much there's also a wave sweeping past Earth that's not really being discussed, I would say highlighted in this, but you can clearly see a big red, big red arm reaching over and grazing over Earth as we're currently in it. This, this green energy that has continued and began. So I would say solar wind is likely going to be picking up tomorrow and today into tomorrow. And let's just take a look at that cluster of planets and see how they're doing over here. So this cluster of planets on the left of the sun or the left, at least according to here, I've been watching for the last few weeks. I've been wondering when the, their magnetic strength as a group was gonna be pulling the flares and the solar activity in their direction. Seems like they kind of broke through and one of those waves, the most recent one is in that direction, but you can see even Saturn and Neptune are getting even closer, I would say perspective wise. So I would say the sun is gonna keep having some activity. <laughs> I'm seeing the planets getting closer, which likely would cause more intensity to occur in the area. So let's look at that intensity. So <clears throat> the 13th, there was a coronal mass ejection that was a little more subtle and then really fast into the 14th. So some of that solar wind was coming out really fast. That was also the direction towards Mars, Mercury over here. Stuff that's going out in the north and south has been a little more common lately, but in this case, it's not that powerful. We're seeing a little bit going towards Saturn in the more recent days. But like I said, I haven't seen anything too Earth directed that we need to be worrying about in today's show. So I'm just going to give you more of the details uh, surrounding the area and what possibly might be impacting us, but it's not as intense. The moon itself is moving into the sign of Aries. So this, this drive to pursue and lead today is likely aided by the moon. The solar wind speed is below average. The Mayan calendar date today is the yellow planetary star. It says, I perfect in order to beautify, producing art. I seal the store of elegance with the planetary tone of manifestation. I'm guided by the power of intelligence. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. So this is a galactic activation portal this particular day. So what are we entering into? Well, we're entering into a world where there's a little bit of geopolitical shifts going on. And other than showing you pictures of the sun and its, its impact on all that and all these particular ejections, which are very beautiful, here in the United States, there was some major movements when it comes to the elections that are coming up at the end of this year. One of the major runners has dropped out of the presidential race. One of the major presidential, uh, I would say, options is showing promise in the rankings and the, I would say history is continuing to move forward through today's portal. Another thing to mention as well is that the Mid Journey 6, the AI art tool is out and it was launched. So there's going to be an even deeper, more, a deeper understanding of AI artwork that looks realistic, that's available for public use and public creation. So not only are you going to be seeing professional fake footage like movies and movie posters and whatever, all this uh, increase of technology to visualize stuff. But now people all over the world are going to be able to do this stuff in their own homes. So just increase your discernment. Pretty much any picture you see, including this one, is subject to be scrutinized. Like you don't believe every picture you see. You could make this with an AI photography, whatever system. I'm convinced like this isn't going to be hard for them. So just keep Keep your discernment. Don't let photographs fully trigger you all the way. Don't believe them 100% anymore. We're past that age. These days, there might be a discerning factor one day other than our intuition for technology, but we're in that weird little spot right now, just like these people in Iceland who are avoiding the lava flow. 
by building these berms really quickly over top of looks like even some pipelines potentially and some waterways potentially that are needing some protection from getting destroyed even further. So Iceland is still going through their particular situation, but I'm proud of them. Everyone's very proud of them and the way that they've been reacting to the situation and how they've been recovering from this situation. Is the sun gonna be delivering more, more hits to cause more earthquakes, to cause more cardiac issues, to cause more you know, emotional outbursts, to cause more flooding? Um, there's a country here I didn't even know existed, literally, that went viral just on the 15th. Mauritius, 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 which I had no idea was a place. So that's something new for me. <laughs> and there's some people celebrating in the south, the southern states here in the U.S. that are getting snow that they they're not used to getting. And some of the river otters, you know, the wildlife is doing okay. They're dealing with it. There's more snow to come, but let's see how the global consciousness dot is doing in this moment. If you're watching this video, obviously on the replay, please go to gcp.com and check it out whenever you're feeling weird, like you want to launch something or you're having a hard time in a moment, check this dot, see what color it is. Right now we're in the blue. This is my favorite shade of blue right now. Look how beautiful this is, sky blue. We are in a state of coherency. This is my first time shooting this, this this video and I'm probably going to upload it. That's a sign of coherency as well that I like to follow because <laughs> nobody likes to reshoot videos pretty much, but moving the coherency here into the fear and greed index, we're seeing that people's fear and greed are at a neutral position right now. So that's really collaborative here. We got some go good coherency. People aren't stressed out. The coin market cap exchange is saying people aren't uh, trading in a stressed out ma fashion either. The earthquake Earthquakes, even though there are this many here, there's not as powerful the last couple days. Like, let's just go from the last day. The most, the things have really slowed down. Like the earthquakes are finally chilling out. So right now I'm reporting to you in a mild moment of calm on the planet. And those political things that happened last night, all of that was happening in a calm moment in a way. And we're just gonna keep watching the earthquakes because there's some internal earthquakes going on in New Mexico, in California, that here in the United States that are concerning, over here obviously in Alaska, lots going on. They're starting to pile up over here in Alaska or the bridge, very close bridge between Alaska and Russia. Uh, there's also still some activity over by Japan, which may be causing a little bit more you know, problems. There's still people missing, by the way, from the earthquakes that happened at the beginning of this month, so heads up on that there is some need for some astral support i would say so go check it out see if anyone needs some support i know it's been a few days now and the odds are low but still just help them if you can if you're feeling guided everything else is looking a little bit normal obviously over here by new zealand and fiji we're going to be getting bigger earthquakes this area just shakes all the time it's normal to see fives over here um, over here by Chile, actually, there was also some bigger earthquakes in the last little bit that we're watching over the activity. A little bit of shaking, nothing too crazy. Like I said, we're in a state, a status of calm. I would say here in, it, here in Italy, we're looking calm in the electromagnetic spectrum. And here in Russia, we're, we're out of an intense section as well. So good, good. It's good to show you as well, those of you learning when and how the calms show up because sometimes I notice people think I'm literally trying to make panic news about this, the weather because I'm only reporting when it blasts. But I'm trying to show you, oh, there's also calm days. While there's still stuff going on always, the calm days are frequent and I will report on them and show you when they're existing so you can be reminded, okay, we're not literally going uh, 11 out of 10 intensity here on earth. There is some breaks and we must utilize them. Here we see some evidence of some bizarre behavior, but nothing too unmanageable, thankfully, in the last 48 hours here in Russia. Really good sign. I'm really glad to see that. The lightning is coming through and grounding heavily in Florida. Yesterday in Florida, there was tornado warnings and tornado watch, if that was on my Twitter here, 
I was watching for the tornadoes as well as, yeah, here we go. So here is the tornado that everybody was concerned about. Crossing over the highway over here. Basically scaring the crap out of people in Florida, which is not great, but they get their spooks, I would say, a couple times a year. There is a lot of, a lot of energy that grounds in Florida. They get a lot of weather there. There's also a lot of sharks in the water off of Florida, so if you want to hang out and surf, maybe try California over here. A little less intense. As you can see, there's rarely ever lightning and intensity grounding on the West Coast. <laughs> East Coast, very busy, often. And here in Australia, they're pretty much getting it on all four corners. They're getting a ton of lightning grounding into Australia. Overall, I think they're getting the most, according to this chart. But take note of all the other spots that are getting a little bit of concentration of energy. Very important to watch. Where is this free energy going? This current or this currency of our planet. Where is it gathering? Why? These are the questions we need to have. Smart questions. Keep us asking the right smart questions. Yeah, all of the East Coast is pretty much getting it. We got a little bit over here, you know, going down the West Coast, of course. You know, you guys have a little bit of rain. I see it. We are going to move on to these rain clouds. Take a look over in the United Kingdom. Not surprising over here in Spain, southern Spain, a little less common over here in Turkey. Interesting. So we're going to keep an eye on that. These guys, these cyclones in the ocean have been going for days, spinning around the energies gathering in these locations. Is there islands here? Are there people here? Yeah, it looks like there is Coco Kneeling Islands have been getting this interesting storm. Heads up on there. I know islands have been in the news a lot, you guys. Islands, so don't forget about them islands and when things are getting weird. Uh, just because you maybe can't pronounce the name, that's even better. Okay, so just keep an eye on those islands and what may be going on for the brothers and sisters out there. Everybody is accounted for. Everybody is free and their dignity is being upheld. So we have the solar wind speeds changing, having a few blurts of data loss here. These are the moments, like I said, check the solar wind charts if you're feeling weird, because likely the data is doing something like this, where you're like, oh, that's unreliable. Something must be going on. It's like, yes, I think that's probably the most accurate way right now to get that proof for everybody, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but you get what you get. It's Solar flare has been steady. Aurora has been steady. <clears throat> Thank you to all of you who've been subscribing to this YouTube channel. And those of you who haven't yet, please go to my Ascension Diaries YouTube channel. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I love you. Thank you. Here we go. Looking at the electromagnetic field around the Earth. It is getting a little bit of solar wind. Even though it's the solar wind speeds are low, I'm still seeing evidence of impact here. So... Don't believe everything you read. That's why we check like five or six different things and see what the average uh, assumption is. And that goes with YouTube channels and other reporters on this as well. I like to go through about five or six different opinions. <laughs> and I don't usually go through them all before I even do my videos because I get too excited. I just want to do them myself. So <laughs> heart math, unfortunately, had been down for many weeks, but now I'm seeing evidence that it is back up and running. And we're seeing evidence data loss, unfortunately, in the back up and running, but a little bit of data has been recovered. And it looks like recovery in the past as well. Like these, all these weeks I didn't have, I couldn't look at this. So this has all apparently been recording, but not been showing up until just now. So if you want to look back and check in on your particular location, there's six of them here. California, Saudi Arabia, Lithuania, Alberta, Canada, New Zealand, and South Africa. They're all color-coded. Here they are on the bottom. Here's the psyche to give you that information. Some of the spots, like I said, are not up and running still. Let's get a better peek at who is not South Africa during their peak summer shift, I would say, where they would be getting the craziest energies there, there offline. So... For the research, this should be very bright, in my opinion, would be helpful. In the past years, that evidence was there, so I have memory of it. But you're just going to have to take my word for it on that one. Thankfully, the global consciousness dot is still functioning. So still, I'm pretty sure that's the same company. 
So some of it's working, some of it's struggling. Let's just put good intentions out there for better and better data. So finally, let's go into what's coming up this January. This Thursday, in two days, I'm going to be doing a Guardian debrief. That means all of you are coming to this live stream if you're available to get debriefed about January or the first month of this particular financial year, 2024. We're going to debrief about what it was that we did last year for Guardian Training, which was the Sexual Energies Workshop, which is here in the playlist of all of the workshops I've done the last year and a half for Guardian Training. These are all about an hour and a half of training about a specific topic. Last year, we did sexual energies as the January theme. So we're gonna go over that briefly. I'm gonna tell you some of the responses I got from the audience from these trainings and workshops. So you maybe will be encouraged to try it out, watch the video, do the training, see how it makes you feel. And I'm going to build upon that, the things that I've learned since then that I wanna add in, just the cherries on top, nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to dive into all the other symbolism and messages that I've been getting from the fellow guardians in my community who freely talk to me, who freely post in my chat rooms, who are all over my social media, the guardians who God has kept near me and I hear their voices and I see their work the most. All those collaborative symbols I like to share in these videos once a month as well. So you can have an idea of what we're up to and it can be validating to you as well. If you're kind of a loner right now, just be validating, hey, I'm not the only one seeing these things. I'm not the only one going through these processes. And I'm interested in joining a collective who is more on the same page. And if you do want to do that, you can go to my link tree below this video and add yourself to any of my social medias, which are all here. But I would recommend you do the Telegram chat room, which is here or here. Telegram chat room, 24-7 community support for your symptoms and solutions. So I'm excited about that chat room. We have a great time. And those of you who haven't yet, go to my Patreon. It's free now to sign up for the Patreon and get those posts. At least get, it a, get the posts and get the updates the best you can. So that's wonderful. I'm glad Patreon allowed that. So that button's here or right here. And I also have designed some new merch, some new clothing for the codes of 2024. I will show you one of them that I'm pretty proud of. And then I'll move on to the last announcement, but this is the back. It says, we out here. The front says, have you heard the good news? So one of my favorite sayings for this year and the last since I got an activation back in July, I believe in 2023 about Christ, literally, the good news has been here and I've been telling and saying it to every weird, creepy energy that approaches me. I just say, have you heard the good news? You know, Christ consciousness has returned and the, I'm like, go spread the good news. And it's like I reprogram whatever that is. It neutralizes it. I tell it something that neutralizes it and then I reprogram it to go spread that good news. And so far it's been really helping to redirect the good news. <laughs> and that makes me very happy. I have other designs here that you may be interested in. This is the highlighted one for today. You can get it in multiple colors. This is the this is the garment that is 100% cotton. So you're, again, biblically on par here with your 100% cotton, your pure, your pure fibers that you're wearing. And with a good little message and it supports the channel a little bit, it goes a long way. And yeah, if you've been wanting a little bit, something new, something fresh to wear, perhaps this is calling your name. I created it for us <laughs> with a playful nature with playful nature, with no name dropping. It's all symbolic. Everything I do is more symbolic and I love the symbols, which is why I do these videos, these debriefings. Symbols mean the most to me. They're metaphorical and their archetypal role in our ascension and in our gaining of consciousness versus their literal uh, truths. And the truths don't need defending. I'm just here to enjoy what the symbols caress out of the collective consciousness and using good things more. So finally, I would invite you to join the Cosmic Origins YouTube channel. My husband's been making new videos. He works with conscious crypto, conscious financial system, conscious 
usage of your material wealth conscious transference from your 3d world to year four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and onward dimensional self as you flourish the lotus that is your soul <laughs> and we're here to promote that at my house so we do our part literally as i'm filming this the global consciousness is in a purple indigo color this is off the charts and i've not been able to record this yet on a video <laughs> in a little while at least for sure where we're getting off the charts beyond blue going into purples it's just bizarre that they were even able to literally program this to go a color beyond the legend but really, really good news. And I'm feeling the energies are wonderful. So in this moment, I'm going to fi fi finish the video for those of you who have the conscious capacity to match me and be my equal in this time space. You've been able to get to this point in the video. And I wanna invite you as my equal now to proceed with the January and this 2024 goal of increasing consciousness on the planet Earth. Now, in doing so, I want to encourage meditation because meditation is actually fun. And you who have been cleaning your third eye, you've been doing the heavy metal cleanse, you've been chelating out those heavy metals with the binders, and you've been eating a cleaner and cleaner and cleaner diet because you've been healing your emotional relationship with food and with eating and with your lower chakras. So good job. And to do so, it has cleared out your visual, you know, your visual crystal, this pineal gland in the center of your forehead there, in the center of your brain. This area is the window to the multidimensional TV that you can watch and receive visuals from all different areas of our reality, basically all the multidimensional universe. So I want to do this in these videos as I'm going to tap into this multidimensional quantum place with you on purpose see what sort of symbolisms and messages we will get forward in this and then wrap up these videos so i will invite you now since i'm holding the space to close your eyes if you can and it is safe take a deep breath in breathe out and i want you to take a few silent breaths with your eyes closed and we're going to go a little bit deeper and i'm going to invite you to do like 10 breaths and invite whatever it is that you need to see or know about into your mind's eye now whatever it is that will serve you in reaching your highest and best potential okay here we go Very good, everybody. So bringing you back to your body, you only needed a few moments. If you'd like to continue your meditation, I'm going to speak softly to end this video. Please continue your meditation if you feel guided. The symbol that came forward for me for today's video and in this moment of coherency was the symbol of a snake. I've been seeing the snake visually in my field, on my social medias and all the places I look at stuff for the last few days. And the information about the snake and its healing capacity, as well as the snake and its potential dangerous capacity, but with, it's a little bit more of a well-known thing, how snakes can be. <laughs> but the healing side of that is something I think is coming back and just balancing out the archetype of snake and the symbol of snake. So that is what I brought for this particular video through my pineal gland. And I hope that your meditation went very well and continues gracefully. With all my love here at Ascension Diaries, I send you on into the day, the 16th. And may we continue going towards world peace. And I'm grateful 
to be sharing this creation with all of you. Much love until next video. Bye for now.